Good morning, Mount Moriah. How are you today? Today is Thursday, March the 19th. We don't have any specials today. So how many people did you reach out to yesterday? I bet the ones that you did reach out to were so delighted to hear your sweet voices. I know I surely was. All right. I was also delighted, absolutely delighted to see all of the animal pictures, the videos of the animal facts. They were fabulous. I'm so proud of you. And wasn't it cool that the Pittsburgh Zoo hosted a live web webcam just when we were doing that today? I think that's God for sure. Alrighty, so we'll make sure that those get posted on the video real, on our webpage really soon as a video. So be looking for that. Alrighty, next thing we're going to do is to recite our Bible verse. We've been doing this all week, so you should have this down pat. Are you ready? Be, be strong, strong and, and courageous. courageous. Do not be discouraged. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God will go with you wherever you go or wherever you are. Joshua 1.9. Today's team activity is wear spring. And you probably noticed Landon has on his orange because that's his favorite spring color. And I've got my favorite spring uh, colors on today too. So today is spring. It's supposed to be warm. I heard there's supposed to be some showers later on. So um, the activity that I have planned for today has two versions, one inside, one outside. So you'll just have to pick which one you want to do. You know, when I was a little girl, um, you know, 100 years ago, I used to love to play in the rain. And my mother would always yell at me and say, you're going to get sick because you don't have something on your head. Well, I fixed her. I wore a shower cap. Now, I'm sure that the people in my neighborhood thought that I was just a little strange, but I did it anyway. So whatever you decide that you're going to do today, just make a promise or a pledge with your parents that as soon as you come in, if you're wet, you're going to take a hot shower. That way we can get rid of all the germs that we have on us from outside. Alrighty, below this video today, I will have attached our special activity. And today is going to be a scavenger hunt. A scavenger hunt is where you look at all the things that are on the list. <clears throat> you try to get as many of them as you possibly can. Collect them all in one place. Maybe mom will give you a bag to put them in. And then <clears throat> when you come back in, have mom or dad uh, take a picture of everything you've collected. And let's see what you came up with. Now, if we have to do it inside, there is... a uh, and the, <clears throat> excuse me, there is a scavenger hunt that would just be for our inside things too. Now, while you're collecting, I want you to praise Jesus that we can still be outside, that spring is still going to come, that we have nature to examine, and that he is in charge. And one of the things that I want you to know is this time is going to pass, and the promise of us being back together and our lives being back to busy, it will happen. So let's take advantage of this time and just enjoy being outside. While you're out there, talk to the Lord. He wants to hear from you. He wants you to t tell him whatever is bothering you, whatever your joys are, whatever your disappointments are. If you need to scream, as long as you're outside, go ahead and do it. God wants to hear from you because you are important to him. He knows what you're feeling and only he can make us feel better. And that's what he wants from all of us is just to talk to him. Alrighty, today's devotions are from Jesus Calling and I will be reading, I am always good. The Bible verse that goes with this is from Psalm 34, eight. Taste, and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. I am good. There is no bad in me. None at all. Not even a tiny drop. And the better you get to know me, the more you will be able to trust my goodness. I have a wonderful plan for your life. You may not always understand that plan. Sometimes my blessings come to you in mysterious ways, even through pain and sometimes trouble. I use tough times to teach you more about me. I can use trouble at home 
to help you find peace and comfort in me. I can use a disappointment to teach you that there is joy in my presence, and I can even use an illness to teach you to be still and listen for my voice. You won't always understand, but you can learn to trust that I am always good. Even in a time when there's a virus that has plagued our whole world, we can trust God. He just wants us to be still and listen to what he wants to teach us through this. Alrighty, so before we leave today, um, let's pray. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads and fold our hands. Dear Heavenly Father, maybe this is all about us being still to stop our busy lives, to stop the crazy that plagues us from time to time, and just to depend upon you. Lord, we just thank you so much that you know what's best for us and you will bring us through no matter what. We can depend on your goodness. Lord, we just thank you for today. We thank you for spring. We thank you for all the things that you have given us of which we can be thankful. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful that every day I get to come on the internet and I get to talk to you and get to be with you even though I don't see you. I can feel your presence. Today, excuse me, yesterday when I walked into the school and I um, was walking through the halls doing the job that I have to do even when you're not there, I could hear your voices and I could see your faces. I missed you. I missed you terribly. But I know that we're going to be together real soon. So I want you to know that your teachers and I love and miss you, that we're constantly praying for you in the safety of your family and those that you love. And until we get back together again, be still and know that God is God. Alrighty, have a blessed day today. Enjoy every minute of it. See you tomorrow. Bye.